Natasha Denona has finally revealed her dream collection, which we've known about for three weeks now. But finally, we have more details. So I'm doing a shopper drop part two to all of the details on this collection. So I will link my original shopper drop on just like one of the promo images that we had. And I had to do a whole video based on that. But now that we know stuff, I'm excited to kind of update you. Now, before we get into it, one, I do not have the palette, but I will in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see the video. But given that this might seem a little bit redundant, I want to give you my thought process behind posting this video, okay? Because it is simply just a short update video since I've gone over my thoughts and I will have a review very soon. So I got the idea to do these dedicated Shopper Drops videos <laughs> from actually watching Sims channels. So if you know Lil Simsy, She's my girl, she's my favorite Sims YouTuber to watch. And I noticed she and other gaming YouTube channels, they will post like a five, six, seven minute video for the day on just a little update that's happening on the game. And I found myself watching those videos and being really excited. So I thought, well, I'll just do the same for makeup. And anytime there's an update, a launch that I'm really excited about, even before I get to have it, to have fun just commenting on my thoughts, my anticipation, the details that we do know. So I've been doing this series since literally November of last year, but I've never given an explanation why I do these and where it's coming from because I don't think any channels do these update videos like me. But anyways, yeah, that's why I do this. It's just a different style of video that I know is not very popular in the beauty community right now. But anyways, <laughs> let's get into what we know about the new Natasha Denona collection. So she originally, I guess, posted on Instagram. She posted on all of her platforms at the same time. But finally, she's revealing her collection. As we've known about it for a while and here, is all the details. So this is available right now for pre-sale at natashadenona.com. On September 6th, it will be available exclusively on the Sephora app. So I believe the day I'm posting this, you should be able to purchase it on the Sephora app. I will have the link down below if you would like to shop through my link. And then September 7th is the official launch date. So that's when it will no longer be pre-order on Natasha Girona. And it will be available on Beautylish September 7th if that is when you're interested. I have the whole list here. It's actually cut off because the list is so long. So make sure you check out Natasha Denona's Instagram where she will have where and when the palette and collection will be available everywhere. <laughs> but starting today, you are able to order it if you would like. And we finally have some new promo picks. So let's take a closer look. I'm actually gonna do a screen recording of the Natasha Denona website because the website has been updated. I used to hate Natasha Denona's website, but now it actually looks really good. Like, look at this. And and then we have the items and the collection below or right here, I guess. So you'll be able to see the eyeshadow palette is 69 US dollars. The Dream Cheek Trio is $48. The Dream Lipstick is $27. $27 for the lip gloss and $24 for the lip crayon. If you want live swatches, check out her Instagram. She has them. I've already watched all of them. I'm excited. And then you can get the full set for $176, which will save you a little bit of money. It's $195 for everything individually before you ask. I pre-ordered from the Natasha Denona website, though I think the palette might be available in my Sephora store tomorrow. So I'm gonna take a look at that. But anyways, here is the palette. We finally have some new promo pictures and the palette looks much better, if you ask me, in these pictures. So you can see right here, like this look, she has this tutorial posted on YouTube. I am totally going to recreate that look. It looks so pretty and these are all tutorials that she has on her YouTube if you want to see how she gets these looks. So this is the midi size. It is a midi size palette, thank goodness. My Dream Eyeshadow Palette which brings 15 of Natasha's favorite eyeshadows in a captivating constellation of shades inspired by elements of life that illuminate and intensify her creative vision. So I feel like on her website we don't have the best 
photo. So I'm going to hop on over to Instagram here. And here you can see a little better. This looks a lot more purple to me than the original kind of blurry photos that we saw. So pretty. So, so gorgeous. Okay, that's the whole collection. Do we have anything else? If you go on her Instagram, you can see right here, we have some swatches of her showing off the glimmers and the shimmers. And I'm going to have the swatches play while I explain some of the details of the palette. So right now, Natasha is going to begin swatching of the shades. So there are 15 shades, and to clear up confusion, two of the shades are pre-existing. So the black is black, which is sold in an individual and a mini Xenon palette. That's where you, those exist. But it is now in this palette, and I don't have an issue with that because it's a black eyeshadow. You, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. And the second shade, while these are swatching, you can see Natasha Denona is taking her time because it was hard for me to figure out what the second shade was. I believe it is... Okay. So I asked you guys on Instagram, I'm actually refilming this because I didn't know the second shade. And even you guys are giving me different answers. Someone said Bellatrix from the Star Palette relaunch, um, Deep Dive from Bronze, Serenity, though she did not say what palette it came from. See, that's the thing. I really am not sure, but I know one of you guys know in the comments, so make sure you comment down below if you know better than me, because I don't know. And I couldn't figure it out, so if you can, comment down below. That would be so helpful, but Black is Black is definitely one of them. And it's interesting because in her Instagram video, she was explaining how some of the shades, she actually kind of revamped already existing shades. So there was a couple of shades that she mixed some pre-existing colors together. There's a couple of shades where she loved the color, but she reformulated it or gave it a completely different finish, which I'm fine with. To me, that is not a repeat as long as it is changed up. So yeah, okay, look at that. So gorgeous. That shade on the bottom of her arm. I can't stop staring at it. This palette is so stunning. We have two more colors to swatch before I move on, but okay, here's the thing. Natasha Denona swatches though, they always look way better than they actually swatch because, I mean, she puts a lot of weight into her swatches to get a really satisfying swatch, but in reality, a lot of times they don't transfer onto the lid like that, but keep that in mind, but this looks beautiful. Okay, so that was the last swatch. Here's the palette. I'm really excited for that duochrome. So here's a closer look into the palette. Black is black right there in the corner is obviously the matte shade that's repeated. And then down below it, we have Instinct, which is gorgeous. And then Risk, which you if you move in four shades, that is inspired by Instinct, but more peachy. If you go below Instinct, Vision, that is a crazy, crazy duochrome. They say it's a multi-chrome metallic with shifts of green, pink, nude, and gold. I'm so excited about it, but there are a lot of different gorgeous shades, and of course, I will be swatch comparing this between the glam and the retro, and it, it still gives me those vibes. There's a lot of cooler toned shimmers that I think we can get pretty close matches from with the glam palette. But I do think these promo picks look prettier than what we saw before. But I'm still really excited about this. This is the second time I'm saying this, this being the second video. But even though this might not be the most unique or exciting palette, I will say I love this color story. It's something that I'm very comfortable with, so I'm excited about it <laughs> personally, and I'm excited to see how these shimmers swatch on my arms. I bet you they're going to be beautiful, but it really truly is like glam and retro had a baby, though from this particular photo, I can say I feel like it does look a little bit richer. It dives more into the plummy purpley tones but we'll have to see i haven't seen it in person you guys will see very soon but that's the eyeshadow palette those are the details i'm still very very excited about it so let's go ahead and keep moving to the other products in the collection we have the my dream cheek trio which is 48 dollars so this has one cream blush and two different highlight formulations in the palette 
She says this is kind of like the quad that she came out with, like the bloom palette, the bronze palette, but in a more compact form, meaning there's just one less shade. And I do enjoy her cream blush formula, though I found in a previous palette that it did dry out, so we'll see if that's the case with this one. Now, the cream blush is in the shade Natasha, which matches the lipstick in this collection, which is pre-existing. I own Natasha. It's a gorgeous color, so it's the cream blush version of that lipstick color. And then, what are the other formulas? We have the Glow Cream Base, which is kind of like a cream to powder formulation. I don't reach for that formula that much, but I don't think it's a bad formula. And then the Dream Glow Powder, which is going to give you that mm, right on top of the Glow Cream Base. And Natasha does a really good job with layering her highlights and creating a really beautiful glow. And just looking at this, like you're going to get a beaming glow with this. Personally, I find layering highlighters a bit redundant, but Natasha always creates palettes in which the formulas are meant to be layered and mixed and matched, and that is right on par with how she usually does it. As far as I'm aware, these are all new shades, though how many different shades of highlights can we get? I would certainly compare in my review how these look next to some of my pre-existing shades, but yeah, I'm excited about this. And then there's a lipstick and a lip gloss and a lip liner. So the lipstick here is $27. This lipstick already exists. It's in the shade Natasha Denona. <laughs> no, nah. it's in the shade Natasha, but what she said about this one is it's in a clean vegan lip formula. So it's still the same color, still the same. I need a nude formulation, but it's clean and vegan. So I don't know if her previous one was not, but she said it in her video as if that was new. So it is clean and vegan. It's a gorgeous color. I very much enjoy the color. And she also is going to launch it in a lip liner formulation. So this already exists as well but it is repackaged in the new dream packaging which I don't really like but I'll talk about that at the end this I believe is the exact formulation not like clean vegan anything exciting about that and then the very very last lip gloss is in the shade Natasha as well but it's never been launched in this color this is in the I need a rose formulation I don't love this formulation I do not find that it's shiny enough for me nor does it last long enough it's not a lip gloss formulation that I'm reaching for over some of my favorites it's subpar if you ask me what I would recommend the most my favorite formula is the lipstick but I already own it and you might too the lip liner again pre-existing but really nice but of that whole lip combo I'm not the biggest fan of this formula from Natasha Denona but it's a gorgeous mauve shade, cool, neutral, but still is able to go with a lot of different looks. If there was one thing in the collection that I'm not as excited about, it's going to be the lip gloss. And then finally, the packaging itself, now that I've gotten a better look, I'm personally not into it. It looks like there was an uh-oh on your makeup, like your liquid eyeliner exploded all over your makeup bag is what the packaging looks like to me. It just looks dirty. It makes it look a little cheap and unlux. But that being said, that doesn't mean I'm not going to buy it. Just because it's not to my taste doesn't mean it's not to yours. I'm really excited about this collection. It seems like a pretty wearable more or less palette, especially with the cheeks, the lips. Those are definitely very wearable and the palette can definitely be made wearable. So while maybe this, this isn't the most exciting collection, this is true to what Natasha Denona loves, what she would wear. And I have to say, Natasha and I, we have very, very similar tastes. So I'm excited for this collection to come my way. I also filmed these videos to know your thoughts and to help me with my review. So comment down below any comparisons you want to see, anything that I didn't cover that you would like for me to cover down below. This helps me prep for my overall review so that I can give you the best information possible. So I hope you enjoyed this little chit chat on what we now know with the dream collection from Natasha Denona. 
really excited to have this coming my way and I believe tomorrow I will be doing this video on the new hourglass palettes so keep an eye for, on that I've already filmed it I filmed it this week and I just needed to edit it this was a little bit more time sensitive so that's why this one is going okay anyways this is for me to figure out in the background I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good one and I'll catch you in the next one bye guys have a good one